So last night, I spent uh, quite a bit of time getting this drawing perfect and um, took it out of, uh, oh, let's see, my little guy to turn on the highlighter. Don't know why that is, but I'm missing my highlight tool. So we will just be working with the cursor today. But um, I spent the time really getting the elevations right everything kind of set up as to getting it from the recap files and um, figuring out what plane it had to be and it actually needs to be in the XY plane um, contrary to what I thought thinking that since this is up that that would be in the Z axis bring it into chief no that wasn't the case but once I got that resolved then um, I brought it in, and it took some time, but um, I was actually able to really create um, these windows to near perfection as, as to their size. And since we are restoring this, this structure, I'm going to do the same thing with these windows now. Um, <clears throat> got a bunch of the corbels around and still have to do this side over here I have to figure out my little riff issue here and some of that's going to be bringing in some more images um, and let's see if this camera still has the overlay on it <clears throat> I don't know if it oh it sure does so it preserved that overlay image that I was able to place on the the actual elevation itself and um, and then just really get the measurements off of these so that <clears throat> I could um, I could truly get these windows so that they they are they're pretty much an ex exact match there's a little <clears throat> a small detail here and here and maybe we'll go to that extent in the future but um, for now it's coming along quite nicely and I've got to extend make a custom corbel for this corner one here because it is longer and um, it's obviously not even at the right angle <clears throat> since it's um, it's on the hip itself or the hip ridge so um, maybe for right now I'll just kind of demonstrate bringing some of those other ones around the other side and show you what that looks like so um, when you grab one of these it first wants to grab the CAD block instance for some reason down here and I can't explain that um, don't know what causes that but um, it is doing it and but if you hit tab then I'll get the other image make sure I'm on it tab it tab now I'm in my poly line so now I can copy and I found it actually easier to just place it in space and then take and rotate it. <clears throat> it last night it was rotating it uh, oh I don't have anything selected apparently let's grab it again there we go <clears throat> and rotate and here we're going to do 180 last night it was just 90 to get around the corner and then I can just do a point-to-point -point move with these <coughs> and drop them in place. And then it's kind of a little bit of a process, but grab one, drop it on the next. Copy, point-to-point, -point, and drop it in place. And I'm going to do that across this whole thing, but I'll pause the video for that. And I am working on my larger screen, so um, sorry it's a little harder for those of you with regular size monitors to see, but um, it's the only way for me to show you both both images at once so you can kind of actually, in this instance, see those as they're duplicating along and showing up. So, you know, like for instance, I can see that uh, right here I've got one missing. And that is my polyline solid. I grabbed it first, which is 
not the norm, so copy, and you'll see it appear on the right hand side. And just grab it and place it, and there it is. So I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of these, and then I will continue. Oh, and Chief, if you're listening, this would be a great sticky command. So I don't have to, I could just grab it and copy it because this is an old building and these are not evenly spaced. So to get them where they actually are, I can't just do a repetitive copy on down the line. So this would be a great sticky feature, Chief. <laughs>